Hey guys, it's Kayla from Killing It With Coupons and here is my Jewel Osco haul for you guys this week. It is definitely a big one. There was a lot of things going on and I will share all the deals with you guys. I did do a one day sale and I will tell you guys about that. That was on Wednesday. I did do a mini video to let you guys know about um, a couple of the deals that were going on. Um, I did something else a little bit different on my one day sale only because there was a rebate bonus offer that was expiring and I had earned um, part uh, half of it last week and so I needed to get the other half this week which was on that day Wednesday was expiring so I went ahead and did um, three little deals over there which then reset and I was able to do again on my big grocery haul on Saturday so um, in total I also didn't get back a fifty cent or dollar fifty from one of my rebates Bates. Apparently the product I bought was not qualified for it. I'm going to let you guys know about that. And then also too, I think 50 cents didn't come off my My Mix for one of the products that I bought. And again, I'll let you guys know about that. But my receipt, the one from the store that I go to, they got to be running out of ink or something because I cannot see like anything. I always have to wait until they send me my My Mix um, in my like email or my My Mix account for me to actually see what ended up happening. And I cannot see that the coupon came off on there and I cannot tell really on my re my receipt either so I think this should have actually been a dollar or two dollars cheaper than what it ended up costing but there were some freebies as well with the Saturday sampler and also um you know some good um some other good stock up deals that I'll let you guys know about but in total all of these items would have cost me a hundred and sixty six dollars and ninety six cents I ended up paying $68.03 out of pocket and saved $98.93. Now I did get back $17.50 in total from the app rebates, making my net cost for everything just $50.53. Now again, if I believe those $2 I'm not getting off or coming back, if this should have been $2 cheaper, I would have been under $50, which I think for the size of the haul that I ended up doing was actually pretty good. Um, and honestly too guys, a lot of the stuff that I ended up getting this week was all either organic or non-gmo at least close to 50 percent of it was um so i will share everything with you guys i will go into first the one day sale that i did um which i actually only picked up one product for uh, the actual official one day sale but i did do a couple other little deals again because of that rebate these five products right here were what i did on the one day sale the halos were part of it and really the only deal i again did let you guys know about the one day sale prior in a video and i was going to do those gorton's fish uh, fillets or the fish sticks and then I was also going to do like either the Kashi bar or Luna bar or one of these. I was going to pick one of these to do um, along with that because I needed three more rebates to get a five dollar I think it was the awards night bonus. It was a five dollar bonus when you bought six unique rebates and I had three from last week so I only needed three more and this was the day it was expiring so in order to get that five dollars back I wanted to try and do that and pair that up with the Gortons and they would have gotten me back two and again I just need to do one more. Now my store didn't have any left so what I went ahead and did was these three products and I'll share with you guys that. But first the Halos, um, these were $2.99 for a five pound box which is a great price. I either had cuties or halos it really doesn't matter they're still the same um five pound box it just depends on what your store carried and mine had halos so that's what i went ahead and did was um 2.99 for again this big five pound box and then um with the kashi these were two dollars and fifty cents and i don't know if you guys can really tell on there but there was a peely for a dollar off so i ended up paying a dollar fifty for this there was a dollar back from ibotta so these ended up being fifty cents for the five count um you know box of uh, granola bars so these were a new product that's why they most likely had a peely on them but i went ahead and got just the one and ended up you know basically paying 50 cents for this and that got me one rebate closer and then the mojo the cliff mojo bar this was a dollar and i got 50 cents back also for my bought it this ended up being just 50 cents and then the luna bar also on sale for a dollar i've been doing this for a couple weeks now I guess um, these were a dollar and there's 25 cents back from uh, Ibotta this ended up being just 75 cents for that and that got me to my five or my six for the total um, and got my five dollar bonus back I also needed cream cheese which I already used for a recipe that I needed I just saved the box um, so I should, could share it with you guys but I needed cream cheese because um, again I needed it for a recipe and I forgot to get it at Aldi that week this was only a dollar fifty which is only actually like 20 
20 or 30 cents more than an Aldi. So it's not a horrible price, honestly, because um, it was on sale. But this was $1.50 extra that I had to buy in with those groceries just because I didn't need it. So that was my total for my one day sale. Again, the halos were really the only one day sale things. All of these rebates then reset for me and I did them again on my big Saturday grocery shopping trip. So um, in total, I ended up paying $7.99 for all of this. I got back a total of $6.75 for everything. I figured that into my whole grocery shopping trip and total that $5 bonus that I got back um, since it was just a bonus after all. And I ended up, again, those rebates reset and I was able to do them again in my big grocery shopping haul on Saturday. So I will try and break everything down for you guys. Strawberries, these were $0.99. Cents. I just picked up three packages for this week because I noticed four were going not going through them as quickly as I thought so I went ahead and did three packages and these were 99 cents each 99 cents also for the grapes and I picked up a little bit under um uh, under a pound and a half it was I think a dollar 32 for these and again 99 cents then I picked up a small pint of blueberries these are organic blueberries for 2.99 which isn't a bad price for organic so I went ahead and did that and then my meat for this week this was actually all the meat that I ended ended up buying so I didn't have to spend any extra money on any meat for my dinners for this week. This was a five pound bag for $1.49. I ended up paying $7.51 and this will actually end up making me four dinners. I'm going to do two chicken pot pies um, in freezer dinners and then I'm also doing two chicken noodle soups. So I'm using a pound and a half for the chicken pot pies and a pound for the chicken noodle soup. Um, so that's where I'm using the five pounds in total and again this will make four dinners. So under 10 bucks for my meat this week I thought was a great price and then I'll let you guys know too I did the same deal again at the cot on the Kashi at the other grocery store um, I went to my home grocery store when I did the three-day sale and then a different one when I did the um, the Saturday shopping trip because it's closer to the other stores that I shop at and these also had one dollar peelies on them So if you guys are concerned about your store not having them at least the two that I went to had them So um, again, this was 250. I got the two dollar peely or the one dollar peely I paid a dollar fifty and got the dollar back for my bada that ended up being 50 cents And then also again on the mojo bar a dollar fifty cents back for my bada making it 50 cents and the same with the Luna A uh, dollar and got the 25 cents back making that 75 cents which actually when you think about it normally like a five count thing or you know whatever the four count boxes of a lot of these protein bars end up costing like more than if you buy the individual ones when they're on sale for a dollar even so that's what I went ahead and did especially since I could pair it up with some good deals and my dad eats all these bars like all the time so another deal that was pretty much a repeat as last week these hauls are still on sale they're two dollars there is a dollar off two coupon I believe it's in the two 20 something smart source. Um, I think it's 22, I want to say. Um, but these end up being $3 for two, and then you get $1.25 back from Ibotta, making these just 90 cents each. And since um, my brother was sick, we kind of went through some hauls, and I wanted to go ahead and replenish them, especially since they are pretty cheap. So I did two of those. That was the same as last week. They're still on sale. And then with the Chips Ahoy, this is very similar to the same deal that I did last week. Um, these were 88 cents on sale or I'm sorry 188 on sale last week this week they're on sale for $1.99 so only a couple cents more and they are the same if you guys do have that 75 cents off two coupon you guys could get these for cheaper I didn't get my coupons that week so I don't have that coupon it was from the 129 smart source I believe it ended up costing me $3.98 I did get back a dollar 20 from check out 51 and then I also got 25 cents back on any cookies from Ibotta that ended up taking a dollar and 40 five cents off. So these ended up costing me right around two fifty between the two of them. So they were like around a dollar twenty five or so each, um, which wasn't too bad of a price. And then with the um the Saturday samplers, there was actually two this week. One was on these Yo Play dippers or else I believe is the Yo Play custard. So I went ahead and picked these up and we'll try them out possibly. They actually kind of look good. Interested to try them out and see how the dippers really work. Um but these were I think like a dollar's 67 or something like that either way they end up being free after you load the my mix coupon and then the same thing also with this cinnamon pebbles these were a new product so that's probably why but i think they were like three dollars or something like that but again you will get that completely free after the um my mix coupon which will take that off so those were two freebies for this week and then another freebie for me was the spaghetti this was uh 75 cents and i had a coupon in my monopoly for 
free uh, signature kitchen one pound uh, I think it was noodles so I ended up picking up the spaghetti at 75 cents and got that completely free after the coupon the same with the signature kitchen salt this was I think like maybe 99 cents or something honestly I don't really know because it ended up being free after my coupon anyway but make sure you guys are checking your monopoly because I got another one for free one of these um, with this haul and then with my big grocery shopping haul I also got free hot dog buns also a free either donut or bagel from the bakery I also got five dollars off a beef purchase of five dollars or more plus a twenty five dollar purchase that will definitely go to use so um, make sure you guys are checking those but I got another three free products for next week that I'm going to go ahead and pick up so um, those might vary a little bit depending on what you guys have obviously but those are my extra two free products this week so I got four in total which is pretty awesome um, and I told you guys about the Kashi again now the Atkins this also may vary depending on what you guys have but for me what I ended up doing now these might be a little bit cheaper if you guys have all the coupons these were five dollars ninety nine cents there is a one dollar insert coupon there's also a two dollar printable coupon you guys will either end up paying four ninety nine or else three ninety nine and then there is also a dollar off monopoly coupon that I ended up stacking I ended up paying three ninety nine in total you guys could possibly end up paying two ninety nine there's also a dollar back from checkout fifty one specifically on the harvest trail Atkins and so those and would end up being either a dollar ninety nine again if you use that two dollars and you have the monopoly. For me, this ended up being just two ninety nine, which I thought for a five count bar of Atkins, which are normally really expensive, was actually not too bad of a price. So for three bucks, I got a five count bar. And again, my dad loves Atkins and like all of the protein bars and things like that. So I went ahead and did that deal. Now with the Suave, this was kind of my stock up deal. And this may totally vary actually for you guys. There's a buy one, get one free coupon on the um, body wash. When you buy one body wash, you get a second one for free. And I believe it is specifically on either the 12 ounce or like the 18 ounce. So I went ahead and did four in total of the men's body washes. These are on sale for $2. There will be um, a, again, you can use that buy one, get one free coupon. Now, depending on how your cashier takes it off, they will either take off $1 or $2 because of the promotion that's going on. My cashier only took off $1. So the way these end up being is they'll work out to be 50 cents or you could possibly get them for free depending on how your cashier puts them in. With the promotion, it is buy two and you save $2. Now I did the deal twice, as you guys can see there. I did four in total all in the same transaction. It took off two both times. Since they're $2, it'll be $4 for the two. Then you'll get the $2 off which ends up making them two for two or a dollar each. Again, that's still a pretty good price. Then if you have that buy one, get one free coupon, you could end up paying either a dollar for two or else free for two. Um, again, my cashier just took off a $1 for each of them since the promotion is after. And these end up being 50 cents, which is actually a really good price. And we are really low on men's body wash. So I thought regardless of great price. Now the Garnier, I let you guys know about this about two weeks ago. And the Fruitis is apparently not included in the sale to begin with, even though two weeks ago, this sale paper said it was. But with the Garnier Whole Blends, they're on sale for $3.50. When you spend a total of $15, you will get $5 off instantly. There are $2 off coupons. If you guys pick up five in total, that'll be $17.50, I believe. And then you guys will get back a, or get the $5 off. You also, if you have four of those coupons, they are a limit of four though. So um, you can use those four $2 off coupons. You'll end up paying in total $4.50 for the five, which is 90 cents each under a buck for you know shampoo and conditioner again I thought was a decent price but for under a dollar each these are a great price and then these harvest stone now these were not originally what I wanted to get but I could not find the other crackers that I wanted so I went ahead and did this deal this actually worked out really well these are on sale for $2.99 there's a dollar off my mixed coupon there's also a dollar back from checkout 51 these ended up being 99 cents I'm going to go ahead and use these kind of in place of my pretzel crisps that I normally use um, because I get those a lot of times at Aldi and since these were on sale they're organic and they were super cheap this week I decided that I would go ahead and use these. The tomato sauce this was on sale for a dollar there was 25 cents back for my bada that was specifically for my rebate um, it might vary but this ended up being 75 cents for me. So these organic refried beans are on sale I believe five for three or like a dollar 
67 and then they're 75 cents off from berry cart this makes these under a dollar for refried beans which is actually you know the organic brand's pretty good price so i went ahead and picked up one of those and i am also using this for my meal prep for this week i'm going to be doing some more burritos for myself so i went ahead and picked up one can that normally lasts me for the whole week then the chobani this week these are on sale for a dollar there is a dollar off three from my mix and so these end up being two for three or like 67 cents or so each which for the non-GMO Greek yogurt is actually a decent price. Then with the um, Dan and Oikos yogurt, this is on sale also for a dollar. I know guys, I picked up like a different brand of all the different types of yogurts I swear they had at the grocery store, but they all were for different coupons and stuff like that. Um, these were on sale for a dollar and there was 50 cents back from my Monopoly. So these ended up being just 50 cents. I picked up one of those and most likely I'll use these for this week and then these will be for next week. Um, these were the Dan and um, the the whole milk yogurts, these were 48 or 49 cents, something like that. There is a buy to get one free coupon from the My Mix as well, which makes these really cheap. So I went ahead and picked up three of those. And I told you guys about that uh, Yo Play Dipper. Again, I got literally all the different types of yogurt this week. And then with the Lara bars, now this is where I think that 75 cents or 50 cents off My Mix didn't come off. And I don't know why, because it did last week. But um, these are on sale for a dollar. I picked up four of them. There's a 50 cents off to My Mix, which I don't know again if it came off or not that would make them 75 cents there's also 50 cents from saving star and since they are both manufacturer coupons you can't stack them but they will be 75 cents again for the other two as well so i paid in total three dollars or what i think will be three dollars it's the same deal i did last week so i don't know why it wouldn't work but um since last week was february this week is march the offers all reset and for some reason again i don't know why the mimix didn't come off or it might have it ended up being three for four or 75 cents each again a really good price for those then on to my last deal which was my freezer stuff um for this week this was also where i had the issue um with this and the rebate apparently isn't coming back for it the fave four is the freezer dinners now march is like freezer not freezer dinners <laughs> but freezer month or freezer food month and so a lot of the freezer stuff will start going on sale and so what i did notice was some vegetarian options that i'm really excited to take advantage of so the way i worked this out or tried to work this out was i picked up um two of these um meatless and soy free um like chicken i did chicken nuggets which actually look really good and then also these chicken cutlets and i did did two of these again these are going to be 250 when you buy four products they're the fave four which is uh four for ten dollars so i think you have to buy the four products in total um in order to get that so these would 250 each and then this was also 250 as well and 250 so with these there's a dollar 50 back from checkout 51 now it is a limit of one i didn't use a coupon for or a rebate or anything but there was a dollar 50 back and these ended up working out to be pretty much like a dollar and then with this eat 2.0 these were also again two there was a dollar back from Ibotta so this would have made this a dollar fifty and then with this um these power bowls which apparently the power bowls might not be included it says any entree um and I guess power bowl is not considered an entree um at least when I tried to scan it with with berry cart there should have been a dollar fifty back that I would have gotten back which would have made these also a dollar again which for meatless and vegetarian products are normally a little bit more expensive and so I really wanted to try and take advantage of you know the meatless products and see if I can figure them into my meal prep as well since they are much cheaper um, but the total I was expecting to pay was six dollars for the four products which is like a dollar fifty each really not a bad price but again with that dollar fifty not coming back from this I, and I don't normally do this kind of stuff because it is more money but since I was working out a deal I thought wasn't too bad and unfortunately I shouldn't have went with the power bowl and should have went with some type of entree but it's not that big of a deal honestly just a little bit you know a dollar fifty I didn't get back so um, in total a great haul for this week I think I hit every everything i know i had a lot this week um the suave and the whole blends will also continue over into next week and i do have more coupons for both those so i'm going to do that deal again next week and we'll see what other things pop up throughout the week but a lot of these app rebates have been resetting so i've been able to do a lot of them and some of them are repeats if you guys have been watching my last couple um but that is it for me this week if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i will see you guys all next week so bye guys